So my name is uh, Mandla Ngomo. Um, I'm the uh, EIA Deliver Web Package uh, Lead. Uh, my work here is around you know, building impactful partnerships uh, between uh, the CGIR and uh, partners from the public sector and from the private sector uh, to deliver agronomic solutions at scale. So I, I think to answer that, it, it's important to to realize that one of the things that we as EIA or Excellence in Agronomy have said is that we want to promote uh, the uptake of agronomic solutions at scale. And what scale means is that, uh, you know, we are targeting as many farmers as possible in the global south to adopt new practices, practices that will help them improve their yields, uh, the quality of their produce and their profitability, but practices that will also improve the health of their soils uh, and also nutrient use efficiency uh, and uh, water use efficiency and also labor efficiency. But most importantly, to ensure that these farmers have got practices and solutions that help them to build their climate resilience. So when we talk about scaling, it's at the heart of what EIA is trying to do. We believe that it is important that these solutions are made available in, an, in a usable manner to as many farmers as possible. So for us, scale is about scaling the partnerships that we engage with, but ultimately it's about scaling the number of farmers that ultimately get to benefit uh, from the solutions that we are co-creating with our partners. It, it's very important because what we've realized is that um, as the CGIR, we've become very good at uh, you know, coming up with uh, really innovative solutions, whether it's about uh, drought resistant varieties, uh, whether it's about uh, you know, using uh, digital technology to determine fertilizer, uh, appropriate fertilizer use, we've become very good at that. But what we've also realized is that uh, when we look at the performance of the farmers, uh, we are not seeing um, the level of, uh, of uptake that we would like to see. So scaling, the scaling work then becomes very important because it makes sure that we are asking the right questions about what does it take to, to take uh, agronomic solutions to scale. Uh, we are learning that we need to understand uh, the farmers themselves, their current operations, we need to understand the risks that they face, we need to understand the climate that they operate in, we need to understand better some of their you know, domestic circumstances, uh, and therefore human-centered design is one of the things that we are looking at. But looking beyond that, we realize that as the CG, we are not going to be the farmer-facing operators that engage with farmers. It's going to be government extension services, it's going to be private extension services, it's going to be NGOs. And, and our understanding of how we form those partnerships is also important from a scaling perspective. Uh, and, and so our view is that uh, we need to learn more, we need to understand more about the science and the art of scaling technologies and become better and excellent at it because that's what will deliver uh, the impact that we want to have. Well, so to, to, to start with, you know, Excellence in Agronomy is um, yeah, the largest uh, uh, initiative of the one CGIR uh, area called uh, Resilient Agrofood Systems. And as the largest initiative, we, we have a, a huge mandate to really deliver uh, on behalf of, uh, of farmers. So in this workshop, what we've done is we've not only brought uh, CGIR colleagues, but we've also brought in some external uh, colleagues as well to help us to, you know, to, to, to look at this question of how do we scale and how do we scale better. Uh, and, and they've really been great in helping us to do that. But from a CG perspective, we've got colleagues coming from Southeast Asia. We've got colleagues coming from South Asia, 
Uh, we've got colleagues coming from uh, here on the African continent, um, from different centers, from the International Potato Center, from uh, the International Rice Research Institute, from the IITA, um, and, uh, and also from, uh, from a few other centers. And the idea is to say, we need, as the CG colleagues, to interact with people from uh, outside of our own environment to help co-create solutions about how we can do the scaling better. So for that reason, it's really been important, this workshop, because it has allowed us to do a few things. Number one, to clarify how we're going to execute uh, our scaling strategy, uh, to clarify the different roles that each of us are going to, uh, to, to play and to also help us understand which, are, which other entities or people or skill sets will we need to bring to the table in order to do the work that we are saying we want to do well. So it's really been excellent in, um, in, in allowing us as a team to, to meet some of us for the first time in person, but also to engage with external colleagues and really co-create what I hope then becomes a platform which will drive uh, you know, excellence in agronomy forward uh, as we try to take agronomic gain to farmers at scale. EIA as, a, as an initiative uh, probably has uh, most of its work uh, on the African continent. I think 60% of our use cases are actually on the African continent. Uh, both in East Africa, West Africa, uh, but also in North Africa. Uh, we are doing a lot of work uh, in different regions of the world. So for example, we are working with uh, our colleagues in Ethiopia from the Alliance for Biodiversity uh, and, and SEAT. And what we are doing there is uh, we are helping to improve productivity in the, in the wheat area, in the sorghum space, in TEF, and also in maize. So as you know, Ethiopia is uh, the third largest country by population on the African continent and getting food and food security right in Ethiopia is absolutely critical. But we also have uh, use cases uh, in West Africa uh, that are focusing not only on staple crops like uh, you know, maize, rice and cassava, but also on some of the cash crops like cocoa. Uh, and our work there is really to, to improve uh, the productivity but the profitability as well of our farmers and, and, and help them to, to, to adapt you know, sustainable agricultural practices that will ensure that for another generation you know, these places of the world will be able to, to feed themselves. So Africa is very central and, and key uh, to the work that Excellence in Agronomy is trying to do. Great um, is, a, is an initiative that is run by Makerere University uh, in Uganda and their focus is in uh, helping the agricultural sector to adopt what they call gender responsive and gender transformative approaches uh, in, uh, in their agricultural research uh, for the transformation of agriculture in Africa. Uh, we engaged Great um, about uh, six months ago uh, to help us as excellence in agronomy to, to really sharpen our, our capacity to, to integrate you know, gender transformative approaches into the use cases that we are working with. And, and what we've been learning is that uh, we need to move from being uh, you know, gender blind, which is where we are not even thinking about gender issues when we are putting together our use cases to become gender aware where at least we are making an effort to understand what are some of the dynamics in the areas where we work. Because sometimes we move into an area and we think the only thing we have to do is to convince people to adopt a particular technology. But when we are gender aware, we start to try and understand what are the potential impacts uh, of that technology from a gender perspective. Especially when you then consider our colleagues from um, you know, the, the human centered design team, that also helps us to understand what would be the impact you know, of, of these technologies, particularly to women and to youth. But being gender aware on its own is not enough. 
uh, often we need to understand what are some of the gender exploitative uh, practices that exist in an area. And we need to be creative in finding ways of uh, dealing with those gender exploitative uh, situations in, in the areas where we work to make sure that at least they start to work for the benefit of uh, especially women farmers. But we need to move then to being responsive, right? In other words, in our design, when, uh, when we're designing the solution, the delivery mechanism, the dissemination mechanism, how are we bringing in the, de the gender aspect uh, into it? But ultimately, we want to see transformation. How do we help, you know, through the work that we do, help societies transform to become more inclusive and therefore be able to provide uh, you know, better uh, food security uh, for, 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 for themselves. So the, 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 the relationship with the, the, the team from Akerere has really been uh, excellent in, in helping us as excellence in agronomy to embed and to infuse this thinking around gender transformation as a core uh, deliverable within excellence in agronomy. Well, I think what I would like to say is that um, uh, excellence in agronomy is about partnerships. It's about, you know, bringing partners to the table around this agenda of, uh, you know, delivering uh, sustainable intensification and climate change adaptation. And, and for us, we realize and recognize that if we're going to have meaningful impact, it cannot just be from uh, what the CG does. It also requires uh, some of our partners. So for this workshop on scaling, we, we're really pleased to have participation from partners from the GIZ, from partners from um, the Open Data Institute, uh, from partners from Catapult, which is a fund here in Rwanda, from partners from uh, you know yourselves as Spear Media, because ultimately you know it takes the whole village to to bring about transformation, and we're hoping that one of the things we can do as excellence in agronomy is to convene conversations about taking uh, you know agronomy to scale, about scaling agronomic solutions, and hopefully we are doing a good job of, of that. Thank you.